What is going on, folks? It's your boy, Stefan Johnson, back here with another star-studded food review, kind of. I'll get to the details shortly. Every week, I bring you food review, comedy, and voiceover content. If you like the way any of that sounds, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and join me. I promise you, every week, we have a new goddamn adventure to take part in. So get this. Major League Baseball reached out to me and asked if I would like to attend the opening day for the Cincinnati Reds. I'm like... Random? But sure, let's do it. So get this, I'm waiting for a car service right now because they are transporting us to Cincinnati. They are putting us up in a hotel and they are going to treat us to, again, the game, of course, with VIP seats and also a, a, a credit to eat as much food there as I want and they want me to talk about it. So of course I said, fuck it, let's do it. Me and my wife, we're gonna get down. We're gonna get jiggy with it. We're gonna take me out to the ball game and we're gonna see what we can do here. Cause apparently the Red Stadium has some of the best concessions you're gonna find in the country and I wanna take part in it. So join me children on this adventure. I'm gonna take you every step of the way. All right, so the MLB sends you black car service for little old me, little us actually. Um, let's see what we can get into folks. And if you didn't know, Ohio is mostly uh, fields and corn. So enjoy the fields and corn. Then after a while, we finally get into the city and it's a nice little city. You're kind of hustling and bustling like New York. It feels cool. So folks, we made it to the hotel, very nice hotel, and thank you MLB, because as many of you know, I don't know shit about baseball, and but you guys have extended your good graces to me, and I appreciate that. Um, we're gonna see and if we can get into any trouble tonight, and if not, we're definitely gonna get into some trouble tomorrow, but let's see what we can do. So me and the missus did find some trouble to get into tonight. We're going to some place called Yardbird, so you're gonna get two reviews for the price of one, probably. We got action, bitch. So Yard House is like a sports bar on steroids. They have all the classic bar food you would expect, but then a bunch of elevated, fancy, smanchy things too. For appetizers, we got the shiitake garlic noodles, and then we got the blackened ahi sashimi. The sashimi was fresh and tender and flavorful, but the noodles were kind of lacking in flavor. And for my entree, I got their filet mignon. Not being a bougie bitch, I just like that cut of meat, and it was tender, perfectly cooked, seasoned to perfection, but not overly seasoned. And the dessert was the P.S. de la Resistance, or however you say that shit. It was this bread pudding, and it was just so eggy and delicate and just creamy all in your mouth. It was, it was magic. It was fucking magic. Good morning, folks. So we are living the Cincinnati life. All of the red people out here, including we have Iron Man. What is going on? Tony Stark himself. How are you feeling about this? Fucking amazing. And we are on the uh, parade route. Of course, opening day, there's gonna be a parade, right? So it looks to see a red. We feel a little out of place, so let's go pick up some red skin. You excited? Yes. yes. All right, so I think we fit in a little bit better now. We have our camouflage. Little do they know, go fucking Guardians. But. We will play the part for today. We were gonna go to La Rosa's Pizza because everyone keeps talking about it. And look, look what we got right here. La Rosa's Pizza right next to it. So I keep hearing about La Rosa's Pizza and I was gonna make a separate stop, but God damn it, looks like we don't have to. Let's see what we can get into. It was a good bare bones piece of pizza. Um, good sweet sauce, um, not too crispy at the bottom. It was good. Holy shit, what the fuck is Beer review of uh, Birdie Delight. Tastes like water. 
don't approve. Well, we made it. The Great American Ballpark. Play ball, bitch. Nice little note from the red. So sweet, so cool. And here are the concessions. Where do I begin? First stop, Skyline Chili for their chili nachos. Yes, you heard me right, mother of God. So Skyline Chili is famous for their Cincinnati-style chili, and they top nachos with it here. So you have um, nachos topped with the Skyline Chili with a nacho cheese and then shredded cheese, and it was a awesome medley of flavors. I definitely would do it again. And this is Fry Box, a specialty fry joint. I got their cheeseburger fries, which has burger meat, cheese, Thousand Island dressing, and a whole lot of lettuce, way too much goddamn lettuce. They could have kept that to themselves, um, and a little too much Thousand Island dressing too, but I would definitely eat these again with some modifications, you know what I mean? And finally, at some of their hot dog spots, they do what's called the split finger, which is a grilled kielbasa on a pretzel bun split with sauerkraut in the middle, and that was damn near delectable. So how does it feel to drop the hot dog we waited 45 hours for? I might be getting a divorce soon, you guys. <laughs> so this is my very first baseball game, and like, I never have been quite like a sports person, but I'm thinking like, this is a great energy, everyone's so positive and nice, maybe the Reds will win and this will get me hooked on baseball, maybe I'll become a lifelong fan, maybe I'll try to join the MLB, and the Reds lost the game. Um, but I appreciate you joining me, it was a great time regardless. I appreciate the MLB inviting me out and treating me so nice, and I appreciate you all watching my ride. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and join me on my next vlog. Do you want more vlogs? Let me know.